In this video, I want to talk a little bit about VMware ESXi Server and what exactly it is and how it works. So I think when somebody is first getting into virtualization, it's kind of hard to explain what exactly ESXi is and how it works. I think it's much easier to show them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here today. Alright, so a few things I want to get out of the way real quick. Um, ESXi is an operating system and uh, it's built completely for virtualization. Uh, it is free, or there's a free version at least, and uh, it has most of the features, but it is missing some of the, uh, the higher end ones. Um, the OS itself has a relatively small uh, footprint and you can install it on a USB drive or if your server has embedded memory, you can do that as well. Um, ESXi 5.1 will only run on servers with 64-bit x86 CPUs uh, and you need at least two cores with a minimum of 2 gigabytes of RAM. For 64-bit virtual machine support, you want to make sure that you have hardware support for Intel's VTX or AMD's RVI and it must be enabled in the BIOS. And um, this is the part that kind of trips people up the most, I think, is that the server is managed almost entirely by the vSphere client after the initial setup, where you basically just set the IP and stuff, and then you connect to it and download your tools and everything. Um, ESXi does support Windows, Linux, BSD virtual machines, and, and there's all kind of other ones too, but I figured I'd cover those as they are the main ones. And um, you don't have to have multiple NICs, but it is recommended so you can separate the uh, management traffic from the virtual machine traffic. All right, so now that we've got that covered, let's go ahead and take a look and see what the servers actually look like. So you see my little server stack here, and uh, we got some networking up on the top. We got a 20-inch monitor, keyboard, mouse, and our servers underneath here. And uh, this server right here is actually going to be the one that we're using in the demo, and it's running VMware ESXi 5.1. And uh, this is what you see on the screen of an ESXi server. There's really not a whole lot there, just a real basic menu system. All right, so I switched the view up there a little bit. Um, this is the same thing that we were seeing on the um, monitor that, that was connected to the server, but um, now we're connected to the BMC or the baseboard management of the server. And uh, it's the exact same thing that we would see, just uh, it's easier to record it like this rather than sitting in front of a monitor with a, uh, a camcorder. But anyway, so you see that it, it gives us the uh, basic info of the server. It's a Dell CS24SC, and uh, it shows our CPUs, and, and there's some tools and stuff. And if we hit F2, we can actually log in and customize the server a little bit. It's a second to load up. But all right, so you see we have options to configure our password, uh, set the management network, we can set IPs, uh, DNS, test those settings. We can also view some logs. It's pretty basic, and I'm just going to exit out of there. And uh, you also notice on the bottom right there, we can uh, use F12 to shut down or restart the server. So on the bottom half there where the yellow is, you notice that it says download tools to manage this host from. And uh, we can enter those addresses into our web browser and then download tools to manage the host. So you may get a warning about the site's certificate when uh, connecting to your server, but just go ahead and uh, add an exception and ignore that and carry on basically. And uh, you'll notice that there's some options for appliances and tools and stuff and documentation. But uh, what we're really looking for here is the vSphere client download. And uh, I think it's Windows only, but uh, it's an executable and uh, it's about 350 megabytes and you want to go ahead and download it and install that. And this tool here is basically we're going to spend all of our time managing our ESXi server. Alright, so now that we've went and downloaded the vSphere client from our server, let's go ahead and launch that. So you see that it asks for the uh, IP address or the name of the server, along with our username and password. And then we're going to click login, and it'll take a second to uh, load up all the forms and stuff for our server. Alright, so here you see our main vSphere screen, and uh, it's got our summary tab, and it has uh, basically a summary of all the info of the server. We got our license, our hardware, and um, you see the data stores and stuff. You can browse the data stores. You can uh, upload, download files, as well as delete them. And um, let's go over to the uh, configuration tab. This is where you would do any system changes to the networking, or you could add storage, um, any stuff like that. Your license features, this is where you enter your license key. And um, like I said, any of the uh, main configurations, that's where you would do it. And then on the virtual machines tab, this shows the virtual machines that are on the server. And this is the beauty of ESXi, really. You see all these virtual machines are running on this one piece of hardware, and each has its own uh, section of the hardware dedicated to it. All right, so now if we right-click on one of these servers and you open the console, you see what would be outputted on the monitor normally if this was a physical machine. So you see on the left-hand side here, we have a Windows server that's running as my domain controller. And then on the right-hand side, we have a uh, Fedora 19 box running. Now both of these are running on the same server side by side and, and neither one knows that the other one's even there. 
and you see that you could do everything you would normally do on a computer and it works exactly the same as a physical machine would. So let's go ahead and close that and let's take a look at the properties of the virtual machine. So if we right click on it and edit the settings, we can see all the uh, hardware information for the server itself. We see how much memory it has, the CPU, the video card, the hard disk, the network, and uh, we can change any of this at any time. You just have to shut the virtual machine down and you can add storage, you could add network, you can um, mount an ISO to boot it from, and uh, all kind of stuff like that. And uh, that's really all there is to it. I uh, hope this helps you guys out and I uh, get you started using ESXi. Thanks for watching.